So, Age of Empires. This is what we're going to do. I'm going to play Age of Empires 1. Then play Age of Empires 2. It looks beautiful. Give my I was like, new review on these things, as well as Dang. experience it for the first time. And I cried a little bit. In almost 20 years. Then I will play the third one for my first ever playthrough of the third one in my life. I never got to play it. I almost did, but we'll see how that goes. Alright, here we go. Uh, Age of Empires 1. Uh, this is the uh, sort of remastered version, the most recent uh, definitive edition. So, uh, it, they kind of, they bumped up the graphics to kind of make it like the second one a bit more. Um, still the zoomed out kind of um, look. Everything's still pretty small. Um, the quality of the video will get better later on, but you can um, kind of just see this is my uh, uh, city over here that's building up. I got my houses. Need houses to, you know, have the people. Any population at all builds only if you have the houses to make the people any uh, warriors or anybody. You got you got you gotta have houses. So uh, to me, that's one of the main things to start on. I, I, when I played this, I was trying to like remember my strategies from when I was like seven years old. Um, and realizing they were different, and the they weren't really working this time. <laughs> Not fast enough. Uh, all the other uh, nations kind of built their empires much quicker than I did. You'll see me fail here, but uh, it's definitely interesting coming back. Jeez. See, definitely a thing with. Um, Age of Empire games, especially the first and second one, um, they have such a uh, aesthetic to them. This is the intro to this game. First time I saw it, it was just it was like emotional for me. In the original game, they had a, a really old CGI scene. So I was just expecting like a remastered version. <clears throat> oh yeah, so this is how I actually started the game. <laughs> uh, this is what you start out with: three dudes in their underwear, and uh, you, yeah, that's boxers more like. Um, just kick it? I don't know. I, I remember just kind of being in awe for a second. I was like, dang, it looks so much better. Recording doesn't. The recording doesn't look that much better. That's for sure. But, uh, it gets there. Um. Yeah, you just, you know, you start getting wood to build your houses, get meat to build your people. And, uh, you just keep advancing, finding new technologies and stuff, and it's it pretty much stays to the same formula through each game, just in different ways, and they keep adding to it. Um, <laughs> I like how this sounds. Uh, so think of a magical arcade. There we go. 
This is what inspired the uh, animated intro of mine. I didn't use an elephant though. I like elephants. I like lions too. Oh yeah, so this is a better quality, uh, but without any sound. So it's a interesting trade-off, I think. But this is basically where uh, everything just went to crap. Um, everything I built, you can see I upgraded finally, and uh, but it just wasn't fast enough. Uh, yeah, uh, just really realized how uh, I didn't know what I was doing anymore. So, <laughs> but it was still fun. I still enjoyed returning to this this version of the game. And seeing it, it was like the first time, you know, with all these new graphics and everything. Um, really something special, I think. Uh, this has definitely been the only franchise that has made games quite like this. Um, there's other games, you know, that do war simulation and stuff and strategy type games. And, uh, to me, this is the one that's most naturally built and it feels just aesthetically pleasing through the whole process of building your empire and coming to a conclusion, you know, survival of the fittest kind of thing. And you really feel like, you know, when, when it is a struggle, you really feel like, you know, you won something. And I haven't played a hard game yet, <laughs> so these these few games, I'm just trying to get used to the 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 gameplay style of these. Um, but I plan on returning and doing well, quite a bit more. Honestly, I want to try different modes and try different challenges. Um. Here we go, here's some sound. Here's the original. This is how it used to look like. And I, I got so giggity. I got so giddy uh, playing this. I just kind of zoomed through it in the editing though. Um, so like, yeah. I, I got way overpowered. Uh, I kind of, I learned the strategy of always building like the little wood, you know, places by the forest. The you always want to up the speed of your uh, gathering resources. And I uh, started taking that forward into all the gameplay moving forward. So uh, this is the second one. And uh, yeah, it's so much better. <laughs> it, I love that. Uh, the, I picked the Celts, and because I put the Celts, I get a little Irish beginning here. Or Scottish, is it Scottish? Yeah. You get bagpipes for the beginning, and I didn't know it did that. I was hey, just smiling this whole time I was playing. Gee, Gee, like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. And, it, I mean, the, it's, it's a pretty basic beginning, I think. You know, uh, three people, but you also get some food to start off with. <laughs> you know, uh, some some of your own turkeys, and I picked Texas. I don't know if you caught that. So I picked Texas. Um, in in Texas, you get turkeys apparently. You get turkeys, and get your scout, and get your Celts. <laughs> Celtics, and it's, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I mean that that beginning music was just it was amazing. To start out with that. So uh, yeah, get the food, build more people if possible, and get more houses. Right now I'm getting more houses because if you look at the top corner, uh, get more people. Now I have more people, and everybody's multiplying and. Oh yeah, we have women in this game. That was a that was a big deal. Um, clothes pretty much look the same for every uh, type of 
nation you want to play in, or, you know. So, yep, here we go. Just process the progress. Everything about this game is just, it's, I think they upgraded it perfectly. I think they did the most perfect uh, game development for this title in every single way. And I'm just really happy with it. Really, really happy returning to this. Yeah, oh, and I, I got my farms going. I, I, was, I was doing all the things this time. I was smart. <laughs> for once. Trying to play these. Um, but yeah, I finally got my strategies in order and I'm definitely ready to start up in the... Yeah. Uh, this time, I was the one that annihilated everything. Here, yeah, I just turn over and I see my people getting attacked by this one green guy. I don't even know what now. Uh, what? Poor Osman. Alright. See, I don't, I don't recognize these types of people. But, um... That's the thing, like, they have so many, like, these are real nations and things that existed all throughout time, but I, I, I don't, I don't recognize all of them. But I find it all very interesting to explore and I kind of want to do like real history kind of lesson kind of thing, like look the people up and uh, learn about them before I, we go into battle and stuff and see if, I don't know, what kind of hints there are to what they look like. I mean, I imagine these are like the Ottoman Empire, I would, I would guess. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Just the fast forwarding through all this. I don't know if I'll keep doing this. No, no. I want it I wanted to be more cinematic like you know, close ups and much cooler experience in future videos. I was just giving an idea of how my playthroughs went. Okay, so I mean I'm obviously gonna win this. <laughs> I had no problems with it. And yeah, this is basically what I wanted to do, was just introduce, and you had to get the disc, so if it, it was like whatever I could find, because we kind of kept losing one of them at a time or something like that, so I remember, like, any time I wanted to play, if I found the first one, I would be like, okay, I'll play the first one, <laughs> and if I got the second one, I'd be more excited, but, uh, and then I, I think I played the first one a little bit more, especially towards the end. I had fun with both, so I, I don't know what it is. It's the, uh, you know, the, the progression, the style, the sounds, the whole aesthetic of the game, I think, is appealing enough, especially to a kid, just, you know, um, and growing up with it was just something I always thought about, like, you know, in history class, like, learning more about these people. Um, this is kind of what I would think of. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, next, I will be playing the third one, live, and that will be a live reaction, not a pre-recorded and a voiceover, so... Yeah. Definitely my first run-through. There we go. This is my first time seeing this. It's an actual cinematic. <laughs> this came out in like 2009, 2010, right? Somewhere around there. That's great. Indians. What? 
Can you play like an Indian tribe? The new world. So more advancements, maybe? I don't know. I never looked into this game too much. I was like not exactly holding out or anything, I just never got to it. Um, I was given the game by my uncle, because we both like these games a lot, but uh, he, he gave me the game and it had like all the expansions and everything, I was so excited, but it, it didn't have the, uh, the download disc in it, and apparently that was lost, so kind of couldn't do much with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, at world's edge. Nice. We value authenticity and respectful representations around a commitment to a journey, not death, not a destination. I love that. I love that. I hope it lives up to that expectation. <laughs> oh, wow. See, the perspective looks so much more 3D. That's one thing I definitely um, notice. Uh, like, can you rotate now? Is it, or is it still a still camera? I'll do default there. Okay. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is China, right? I believe. With Chinese uh, with the It's so pretty. I love the look of it so far. Is this actually how a town's gonna look? Or is this just for the look at it. I'm gonna change graphics and make sure that's all. Ooh, story mode. Oh man. I'm just gonna do a normal skirmish like I've been doing, but I, I'm so excited to like get into the story modes and stuff. Uh, team, no, just that. And is this the tribe? Select home city. Interesting. Beijing. Oh my gosh. I love all the, like, uh, oh man, and the, well that's interesting. <sighs> like, all the different kinds of ethnicities and things, the, uh, cultures that they seem to really want to bring in. And I'm already, I'm part Japanese, so Japanese would be amazing, and I think I'll go with that. I love it. I love it so far. I love it a lot more than I thought. I haven't heard many great things about this, so I'm wondering how that's going to work. You know what? Random. I'll, I'll let it all be random. That's kind of more realistic. Okay. Uh, maps. American maps. Asian maps. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Different kinds of, like looks, I imagine, based on the country these are from. Oh my gosh. Colorado. Let's find Colorado. You can make, you can make custom scenarios and maps. That's awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait to get into the... I mean, 2 has a lot of stuff too, but it, it it's not quite as customizable. Oh! Wait, I already have like two warrior people? Oh my gosh, what did they do? Find strength. Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, gather more food, guys. I have no idea what to do now. Uh, already this is. What? What are those? What are these? Orchard. Wait, you can, like, gather things without... Do they put it in there and carry it someplace? So... Or... Like berries or something? Oh, this is weird. Like, I don't know what to think about it right now. It's just, it's, it's a lot different so far. Uh, I like how everything, like, literally just fades in, like, you're painting the, uh scenery. So we can't harvest those. I'm gonna... Okay, keep harvesting. How about that, guys? Wait, what are y'all doing? What are y'all? Villagers. 
yes. Okay, six villagers, great. Why can't y'all, are y'all harvesters? Am I not doing this right? What? Enhances nearby shrines. Bears. so different. I don't even know what to think about it right now. Oh, what is that? Three hundred and twenty four experience for shipment two. Oh cool, you can call people to defend the home. Much different. Okay. I'll make a few. I know that's important. Uh. I do love like it, it seems like they like the hats, that's definitely Japanese. The outfits that they're wearing feel Japanese. They're just blue, you know, they're color coded. That's awesome. Okay, what are y'all doing? I don't know what y'all do for one. Thank you. Hi. Go do that. No, I mean, technically, you need to be, like, getting food. Oh, that's weird. None of these are available to... What do y'all do? I don't understand. Are they, like, special to this tribe? Is that what the idea is? What the heck? Cool. <laughs> Thank you, Hiwata. What the heck? This is neat. This is so neat. I'm flabbergasted. Really wish I knew what these guys did. Okay. work on a strategy like I, I it doesn't even feel like this game works the same anymore and like this thing why is that so wonky looking bandit rifle whoa 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 whoa, whoa. oh my gosh this is like the wild west or something Like, there's random people everywhere. Outlaws and stuff, I don't know. The rocks just look more natural. It's nice. Trees aren't just groups of forests anymore, they're just scattered around. Everything just feels better, so it's cool. Okay, I can't hunt anything, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna have y'all not take on coyotes. Maybe, maybe those things. What do y'all do? Salam. Yes. I will okay. never so submit to a man. But I will have my will through the power of trade and over assault. coyotes or something. Is that? Oh, the dogs are like interacting with stuff. That's so cool. Nanja. Great. What? Do we not just... We don't eat food. Is that... Oh, they grow rice because they're Japanese! Oh, it's so cool. A dock? Ca a castle? We're already ready for a castle? Is that a castle? Oh, that's a town center. You can build already so much, it seems like. 
I know we need houses, right? It's in a house. It's a shrine. Do we do houses? Is that... Okay. It looks like a house, but it's not. It's a shrine. I thought this was like, I don't know, around here. There we go. Okay, I need to figure this out start doing stuff. Are y'all not gonna... Good job. What? Huh? I don't know what any of this is. Okay. Back out of that. What the heck? What do y'all do? Okay. Can figure shrines to produce wood? Yeah, sure. Sometimes. Configure shrines to produce that. Sure. Oh! Oh, I see. I see. Uh, you know what? Food. Because I can't figure out how to get food, so. <laughs> this is such a struggle, like, uh, trying to figure this out. It's definitely different, and I like it, it's just not used to it at all. And I feel like every single turn is, like, something new, and I was expecting it to mostly be similar to 2, but it's, it's quite different. I can't... Oh, you can only pick one type of person at a time. That's odd. I need houses. Why can't I make houses? We need to make house. House. The sticks of wood you have gained Trading from that posts. treasure will surely no bring house. glory to the fame. Is that what just... I'm stuck. I'm not sure how to. <sighs> Using these like scouts, and I don't think that's the case. I think maybe these are supposed to be the scouts. So how... Oh, red. Let's go this way. Let's see what's over here. What? They can build? Okay. What the heck? So, they can build as well as buy. That's that's likable. Smoke screen. What? You can retreat back to your home and throw smoke on it. Like a smoke bomb. This is insane. Like, so much more opportunities to go about things. But apparently I can't kill anything. All it does is enhance nearby shrines, and I'm not even sure how that. I need somebody running this thing, correct? Oh, my god. No. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna last long. Uh, what? 
No, not already. Come on. Okay, what is with the AI here? This is not right. Well, for one thing, it's not even hurting my villager. Oh, this is weird. I don't know about this. I don't, I don't like it so far. Uh, which ones? I don't think you all need to be here. But... I'm just ignoring things. I'm gonna make my rice. <laughs> I, I know everything is about to die. Oh wow, monastery looks awesome. Ooh, is this free placing? Flaming arrows, dude. <laughs> this game is literally insane. I don't follow. Yeah. Wait, I want to watch all this. Um, actually, happens now. I wasn't expecting to win. I, I was. Well, no, I was. I was expecting it to be a lot of the same kind of gameplay, and it's, it's actually quite different. So, freaky. Sure. I love Ricky. He's he's nice. Um God. Wait, what? Can somebody uh heal him? <laughs> oh that's cool, so they're just wounded. Hey, 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 hey. I think we can stop beating up on her. Oh. Oh my. Wow, 3D grass, too. Um... Yeah. I think I did pretty good. Uh, I can make more people do Just egg the song, you know. Keep going. I'm strong here. What did you do? My military unit, so... Wait, what is... I had a building here last time, didn't I? Is that some kind of PC thing they decided to You'll do? Get what? It will not be long before your native allies have realized that they are on the wrong side. Oh, oh. who are you? Oh, that, that's what came with them, right? Oh! oh. It takes them that long to take down one tree, and it's like an epic fall. That's amazing. You never see that in games. It's like, if they fall, they just kind of disintegrate. Really? Like, it feels more realistic than everybody's shouting. Like, hooray, we're kicking ass. <laughs> 